Next up in the wonderful, magical world of paint, highlight and shadow. I know it's lame. Don't make fun of me. Uh, but in all honesty, highlight and shadow is the last of our tertiaries. There's only two tertiaries that uh, we go over here in class. There are many, 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 many more. Uh, but we just do those two in order to create light. Highlight and shadow is quite literally art 101. You are adding light where there is light and shadow where there is no light. Um, so let's get to it. So I've got two different colors right now. I've got an orange, the same orange from Spatter. And then I actually grabbed this dark, 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 dark brown as well. So... Tertiary works just like primary, works just like secondary. So if spatter is skim milk and way more water than paint, what does that mean for the wonder of highlight and shadow? No, really say it out loud. What is it? What is it? Thank you. Yes, skim milk. Two parts water, one part paint. Uh, sometimes that's still not enough water. So, one of the reasons why we had to get that stencil done first earlier today is because you need shapes to highlight and shadow. So, here is mine from yesterday. You guys remember that? There's my S that kind of sort of worked. Uh, and then there's my cool little um, pieces and parts right there. So, we're going to highlight and shadow those. We're going to Bob Ross this up, hopefully. Okay, so... There is our canvas. Yay! You guys can see that there. So, highlights. You want to think about, you have to pick where on the board the light is coming from. So, I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to draw my little sun. Yay! Sun! Come out tomorrow. Just kidding. Kidding. So this tells me the direction that it's going. This is just for instructional purposes. Please don't do this on your final projects. So this tells me that everything over on this side is going to be brighter. And then everything underneath that is going to be darker. Highlight and shadow is actually a little bit more than skim milk. It's, I mean, it is literally almost no pigment whatsoever. You kind of want it to look like the stage floor where you've been cleaning, guys. Great. Cool. Cool. All right, so if I'm highlighting here, I'm just going to use the side of the brush. Um, we, you are still using these big old brushes. You will have smaller brushes available to you, and normally you would do this with the teeniest, tiniest brush. Um, but I'm literally just going to take a little bit of it. You go halfway on to whatever it is that you're highlighting and halfway off. All right? I know it's harder to see, but I have faith in you. So I'm literally taking the edge of the brush, edge of the brush, and... I am skirting right next to the thing. Now, you can do it with a brush, right? Yes, I'm going up and down, which is why it's getting a little bit drippy. And I'll get a closer look. But I can also just skirt this over here and up and over and over here. And I'm just literally skirting across the top. Oof. See? There you go. Again, it's dripping because I'm doing this up and down instead of on the floor. Problematic, but usable. Now, another way that you can highlight and shadow, or highlight rather, because that's what we're focusing on right now, is actually through your fingertips. So I can literally take, hey look, it's my finger. I'm not flipping you off, so don't yell at me. There are two fingers, guys, two. Um, and I can actually go across the top and I can stipple. Point, tap, 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 tap. So I can come across here and come across here. You just have to make sure that there's that water ratio where it's way more water than paint on your finger. If it's not more water than paint, it's not an actual highlight. But depending on what surface you want to create, you can do the highlight with your finger as well. So if I hold the camera up, after I get as much paint off of my finger as I can, because right-handed, you can see that a little clearer. Yeah, but it creates a completely different feel. Even if we don't pay attention to these drips and pretend like they don't exist, it still 
I've got a bumpy highlight texture here, and then I've got kind of a smoother, more subtle texture up there. All right, shadow, same thing. So, number one thing is halfway on the shape, halfway off the shape, and living in that kind of space in between. Low light or shadow, whatever you want to call it, is the exact same. Again, I've got my super, super, super maddeningly crazy watered down pigment on my paint can lid. You can hear me mixing it. You know what that looks like, so I'm not stressing about it. I'm going to get as much of that out, and it's the exact same process, guys. Okay, yeah? No, don't hold your paintbrush like this. I'm doing this so you can see. Um, I'm going to take the very, very edge, and I'm just going to go across the opposite area where my highlight is. So going right across. Ooh, I still need more water. More water. There we go. Better. Bob Ross in it today, people. So I'm just going to come at an angle underneath, come at an angle underneath. Again, going halfway on and halfway off. Now, I would never use these actual colors for a highlight and shadow because they're not complementary to the color at all whatsoever. Okay? But I can also do the same thing with the finger. Yeah? Cool. Awesome. So, again, it's just tappy, tappy, tappy. Tappy, tappy, tappy. Where there's light, there kind of has to be shadow. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Okay? And then you have different layers of stuff within that. Tap, 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 tap. Seriously, feeling some Bob Ross right now, guys. What do you think? Should I start a channel? Kidding. Kidding. All right. So, again, same exact concept with the brush. Very, very subtle, very light. Stipple with the finger, much more dramatic. As always, one is not necessarily right or wrong. It's just a matter of what kind of texture are you creating. Is it something like that? Or is it something like that? Same lights, different textures, different stuff. Right? Perfect. So now go ahead and take... Uh, some people have dark colors on their mats. Some people have light colors on their mats. Um, go ahead. Give it a try on that stencil.